Uh, this season, guys, uh, we have a pretty serious goal, but it's a doable one. We are trying to raise enough money and food to provide 9 million meals to fellow Americans, hungry Americans. We want you guys to take a look at the face of hunger, and we want you to meet a very special person. His name is Pedro. Watch his story. You know what the most important things and the ingredients are, right? Love, Love hope, hope, and excellence. Yeah, beautiful. I came to work at the New York City Rescue Mission after a long journey of drug addiction and dereliction. I just couldn't deal with life on life's terms and I turned to drinking first and um, smoking, obviously, marijuana. And then it escalated to progress to cocaine and then heroin. I just turned to those things and I grabbed onto them and then they grabbed onto me and they didn't let go for a very long time. We hung out on this corner. People would come to us and we would sell them crack. When I first hit homelessness, it was like walking around the street and knowing there's no place to go. On August 24th, 2004, I was just, just meditating and saying, hey, if there's anyone out there, I'm on my last legs. Like, I wanted to roll over and fall out of the window. Something was lifted from me, and I knew that I wouldn't use anymore. I love to cook, so let me just enhance and be a professional at it. Food was the catalyst that saved my life. I have 10 years clean, and I'm like, wow. It just became surreal to me. I got to the New York City Rescue Mission, and I remember eating in places like this. And when I found that they needed a chef, I immediately said, what better place to go than to give back? In the morning at the Recovery House of Worship, I go to the soup kitchen. This is not a typical soup kitchen. We're trying to put out our best food for those that don't have much. And we serve about 80 people there. And then I head over to the New York City Rescue Mission, and we serve about 600 people a day. This is who I am, and I want to continue to give back. I like to come over here every morning so I could be able to do something. I'm not working right now. I don't, I don't really got nothing going for me. So when I come here and volunteer, it's like I feel awake. Be okay. We come here, we get a hot meal, and many of us don't have that. If it wasn't for people like Pedro, who extends himself and overextends himself, it would be uh, difficult to find a, a good uh, home-cooked meal. Thank you so much, brother. I'm going to go into culinary arts school, and Pedro is the reason, you know, I want to finish my career in cooking. You don't have to work a day in your life if you love what you do. And I love, I mean, I love what I do. Be okay. segment that resonates true to me the reason I make my living in food is that it fills your soul right to share food yeah. with people it really does, it does. Bless yeah. your heart you're crying watching that story it's emotional this is 10 years for you right yeah um I just wanted to tell you thank you for having me on and um and this great opportunity um with the people that we serve they come there and they're just people they're just like me a guy told me hey I want to be like you and I told him I put my hand on his shoulder I said you are like me that's right. You just need to take some steps to get you in the right direction. You know, that's what I love so much about food. You're serving people dignity. You're not just serving them food, you know? Mm -hmm. You're giving them yeah. a hug from the inside yeah. out. Um, you know, can you even put into words... Can you even put into words your journey, you know? This, this remarkable journey. Ten years sounds like a long time, but it goes in the blink of an eye. We all know that. To see where you've come in 10 years, does that just motivate you for the next 10? What, what does it do for you? You know, um, I woke up on September 1st, mm -hmm. 2014, and um, I looked to the left and I seen my, my lovely wife. Mm -hmm. I walked out the room and I seen my daughter. And it's the same neighborhood that I used to use in. It's the same neighborhood that I used to do the things that I used to be a deviant. And um, on September, um, first 2000 um 2004 god took me and said hey i'm going to take you from there i'm going to transform you and now you're going to be ambassador for those in need and that's what i want to do for the rest that's of my cool, life man.